Hey everybody, this is Jason again uh, with the Empire Axe. Got a request to do a trigger video, basically go through a couple little things we can do to make the axe shoot a lot smoother and get a better trigger pull. Um, first thing to do, like you see in all my videos, always have some kind of towel or a gun mat down so you don't lose anything, you don't scratch anything. Whenever I do any kind of trigger adjustment, I actually do disassemble the marker and only focus on the trigger so it's a lot more easier you know you don't got to hold the gun with one hand adjust the trigger with another so it does make it a lot smoother so first thing we want to do is when you do remove the lower grip frame you do have the bolt lock spring right there go ahead and pop that out and just set it down someplace safe usually near the allens or near your screws you don't want that flying sure you do get one extra in the kit but you never want to lose stuff like that uh, next thing we do want to just pay a little precaution with is one indication when you're adjusting your trigger with the micro activator right there do not do that too um, high if you do that too high the body will not sit smoothly on the frame and you will not be able to shoot the marker just a word of thought so with the trigger uh, of course with the body on you really only see two adjustments which is your magnetic return what the manual calls your rear and then the other one right up here where my thumb is is your forward we're really of course like you just saw you also have the micro switch activation right there. What we're going to do today is we're going to go over some measurements on each of these to make this trigger smooth and be able to definitely rip this paint through this marker without a problem. So, of course, I did measure everything, so we're going to go ahead and go over the measurements first. Um, the first measurement you want to do is with the micro switch, you want that about 2 millimeters up. That's about two right there. The next one, the forward, which you can kind of see. Let's get a good zoom in here. You want that one actually only about one millimeter. Now, the rear return, which is the small one right up here, you want that about 1.5 millimeters. The magnetic return, you don't really have to measure this one as long as it's flush. You're going to be golden. You're going to have a really good return to this. So, um, if you do those measurements, I guarantee this trigger is going to be nice and smooth for you. So, basically, um, let's just go over what each one of these actually does change. So that, we, you know, if you don't want to do these measurements, at least you know what you can adjust. Of course, the top one is, of course, the micro switch activation. Only thing that's going to do is either rest directly on the micro switch or dangle a little bit. Not too much information right there. Now, with the forward adjustment... What that's going to do is basically, I'll put my finger here so you can actually see what happens, is the tighter you adjust that, or the looser, you can basically see how far the trigger is coming away from the actual grip frame. You see that right there? So if it's really tight, you have it all the way down, the trigger is not going to work. If you have it all the way loose, that's about as loose as you're going to get it. That's a really big gap. That's not going to go too smooth. So definitely, you know, don't tighten that. Don't lift. Don't put too much uh, strain on that one because you're not going to get a good trigger pull. Now, with the rear, basically, only thing that is, is basically stopping the trigger from getting to the frame. That's all that really is. That's basically in layman's terms and the manual it tries to go more in depth and tries throwing all this lingo in there you don't really make doesn't make sense at all now of course with the magnetic return now this is the kicker um, you don't really need this on here I like it you can actually take this off and with the micro switch alone you know it's gonna be able to spring pretty good I did that with my Bob Long 2k5 intimidator worked great but surprisingly this magnetic return actually works really good so I say leave it on. You're not going to have that much issue with it. Um, same thing. Basically, if you have it at a pretty good distance like I do, when you pull the trigger, it's just going to spring right back out just like that it's doing right now. So pretty smooth. Very interesting. Uh, don't 
wind it too much because then you get you have to basically adjust all these all over again. So yet again, like we said, uh, the micro make that about two millimeters high. The forward make that about one millimeter. The rear make that 1.5 millimeter, and the magnetic return just make it kind of flush with the frame. So what we're gonna do now. Let's go ahead and slowly put this back together. Okay, and right now we're not going to worry about the locker pin. I can put that back in in a minute. Base, I just want to get this together. See that? So if you do these measurements, that's how your trigger pull is going to be. I mean, you, believe it or not, barely touching it like that is actually activating the micro switch. So it's golden. Um, yet again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just shoot them on over. This is Jason with the Empire Axe. Thank you very much.